Well, hello everyone. My name is David Burney. I have been asked to make this simple video for you guys today. I don't know why. It's going to be about my daily routine as uh, we are all trapped inside our homes in isolation, but that's okay. I like to keep things simple. I like to get a routine done. And I like to have fun doing it. So I know what you're thinking. Why was I asked to do this video? Well, quite frankly, I have absolutely no idea. Most likely because, well, I'm the most interesting person in the world and uh, very humble about it, by the way. But in all honesty, you know, I think it takes a special person to be in isolation, working remote on a regular basis. And my mom has told me I am very special ever since I was a little child. So without further ado, let's go into my daily routine. 6.30 a.m. Bright and early. I like to start my day. Yeah, I actually do like to start my day nice and early. Nice and relaxed. Slow. No rush. You know, have as much fun as you want to. At this point, I like to decide, hmm, hmm, am I lazy today? Or will I actually shave? and try to look like a baby face again. So it's here this day. It wasn't actually the day that I was filming, but I decided to go with the baby face. Yep, beauty. I then hop in the shower, obviously to get rid of my stink. And yes, I do have a shower every day. Afterwards, dry myself off. I like to actually throw on real clothes. No jammy pants for me. I've always thrown on real clothes because I truly believe that if you're looking good, you're going to perform well. After the clothes are on, let's head back to the bathroom. I go through one or two different hairstyles, you know, just see what kind of mood I'm in. Just play with it a little bit. Have some fun. Go a little crazy. Be a little wild. Yeah. It's all up to you. Whatever you're feeling. This is why you get up at 6.30, so you can spend 45 minutes in the mirror playing with your hair. At least that's why I do. But in the end, choose a style that you like, and you go with it. Perfect. I always make sure to give my wife a nice kiss before I head downstairs and make my coffee. It's the best part of my day. Best part of waking up is Folgers in my cup. Here, nothing special. I recorded way too much video here of uh, myself making coffee. I didn't actually make any coffee, so that's why it looks real nasty. And uh, I did a little bit of uh, video edit here and dumped that nasty stuff and filled my cup with water. But you never know. It looks like I'm actually enjoying a real cup of coffee. But it's water. Because that other stuff looked nasty. And I wasn't going to drink it. No point in putting myself through it just for a video. I then head downstairs. And uh, go check on uh, my plants. My herbs. My growth. Turn on my grow lights. Beauty. Yep. And then I run upstairs and check on my baby boy. Typically, he's actually sitting over in the corner reading a book, being all cute. This morning, though, he was a little grumpy. Come here. Start my day, 7.30, nice and early. Good morning, Dave's here. Yep, Dave's here. This is Dave. I'm here. <sighs> yeah, I'm here. No, you're right. I did not get into too much of my work day. Now, I did that for one specific reason. I want enough time to talk to you about something a little bit more serious. In all honesty, I have 
severe depression. And in times like this, you would think that it would be very hard for me to be productive at home with my depression going on. Now, I have been working from home for the last nine years, and I actually find that working from home, I get a lot more done than I do when I'm at work. Reason why is I can put my headphones in and just zone out and get rid of all the distractions and focus on my work. I am going to give you five tips though on how to deal with this depression anxiety as well as to increase your productivity. Tip number one, don't be afraid to move around in your house. This office here might look like a great setup, but really it's just a studio. You can't tell, but I have several lights way behind me shining the light over here and it's too bright and it's hard to see and I don't like it. It's actually much easier to see without my glasses, but this is not a very good office for me. I walk around the house. I move spots on a regular basis. I go from the couch to the kitchen table, sometimes upstairs in my bedroom and lay on my bed to get work done. Tip number two, if you're on a call, just go outside. If you don't need your laptop with you, leave your laptop behind and just throw your phone on mute in case it's windy out. Tip number three. Now this is something that'll really help you with your anxiety and stress. I love to be creative. Creativity for me is a great way to release my stress. But more importantly than that, my favorite thing to do is to wrestle with my son and my dog and then also talk to my wife about things. We love enjoying coffees in the morning together and teas at night after dinner. So find a way that you can release your stress. For you, it might be working out. I like to go for a run, go for bike rides, work out occasionally. I even box in my garage. I have a nice, beautiful setup. But for me, I find it so much better for me to spend the time with my family. After all, they're stuck in the same position that I'm at and they might need some stress relief as well. Tip number four, find a hobby for yourself, something that you can help relax and even push yourself towards learning something new. For me, it's my hydroponics and my microgreens. Microgreens are just any type of seed where you grow it really short and you eat it just like that. I have been feeding my family bird seed for weeks. It is fantastic. The final tip, tip five. One of the best things for me to help with my productivity is to make a to-do list. Now, you saw it earlier in the video that I have a whiteboard and I wrote the to-do list on that whiteboard. If you don't have one, that's not a problem though. Just write it on a piece of paper, put it on a computer, that's fine. I don't like it on the computer because I personally like scratching something off because it feels so good. You just get that mental win over it. I also find that it's very important to do both little tasks and larger tasks on it. If you put all large tasks, then you can easily get discouraged and stop your productivity. But all these little tasks will start to snowball and it just gives you a lot of ambition to move forward towards that large task. Now, one of my favorite things to recommend with other people doing to-do lists is to write at the bottom, make a to-do list. And that way, when you are done making it, you can make your first cross off and have that first mental win right away. Try it out and see how it works. I hope you enjoyed this video. I put a lot of effort into it to try to make it a little bit entertaining, try to release a little bit of stress so that you can have a good time and just relax. You made it through the week, it's already Friday. And you know what, tomorrow you don't have to work. It's the weekend. So take some time off for yourself, relax, spend time with the family, have a nice glass of wine, whatever you like to do to sit down, relax, and just unwind for the week. You've done a great job, and thank you very much for everything that you've done.